Last time on Sonic High School, Rouge had her new baby, and Sonic took a closer look. Sonic then realized the baby looked more like Knuckles than it did Espio. Vector then ran off to tell Knuckles. Knuckles came in furious and tried to fight Espio, but Vector held him back. Knuckles was dating Rouge in secret, and Espio went and tried to have a baby with her. The group kept the two from fighting that day at school, but they were set to battle the next day. On the way home from school that day, Sonic called Amy to proposition sex from her. She denied him over the phone. Sonic wondered if she had a second boyfriend. Sonic then went to Espio's house to help him train for the fight with Knuckles, but to his surprise, Tails was standing in Espio's room with a face of pure anger. What could have made Tails so angry at Sonic? Does Amy have a second boyfriend keeping her away from him? And will Espio win in this fight against Knuckles, or will he be defeated? Find out this time on Mid Midnight Society, Sonic High School. Chapter 10, Two Different Fights. Author's note, I was going to make this the last chapter, but everyone just loves it. Oh, <laughs> they fucking love it. And my brain keeps exploding with new ideas. So I'm going to continue SONIC HIGH SCHOOL for some longer time and make more chapters. SONIC HIGH SCHOOL! Chapter 10. <laughs> it's all caps, you have to fucking scream it. So you want to read the whole, like, page or do you want to just read, like, the first paragraph? And we'll alternate between paragraphs, I guess. Or wherever the line breaks. Sure. Sounds good. Alright. You start first. Why are you here? Screamed Tails with the anger of a million angry birds. What the fuck? Sonic was shocked because Tails was his best friend. And Tails was smart. But Tails was super pissed at Sonic for not coming to the science competition. Even though they were best friends. You know, I, I understand. Best friends, you gotta do everything together. Right. Sonic moved his mouth, but words did not come out because he did not know what to say. Sonic was a mixture of mad and sad and frustrating because he did not know he could... <laughs> he did not know what he could do to get Tails to be his friend again. At times like this, Sonic thought about Amy's fine body because it set his mind at ease. <laughs> e apostrophe S. <laughs> Yo, bone it apple set tea, his mind right? at ease. <laughs> Holy shit! How could you be so inept at story storytelling? <laughs> oh his mind God. at ease. <laughs> I love how everyone speaks in such deliberate English. Like, oh, what's this line? Sonic's or not? Not they even speak in deliberate English, but everything is so matter of fact. Like, <laughs> Sonic was like a mixture of mad and sad and frustrating. Like, what the fuck is this? Oh my, continue, I can't, I feel like I'm gonna have a fucking aneurysm by the time we're done with this. <laughs> we're just getting started, my boy. Alright. It's already started, and I'm like... <laughs> I'm here for my friend, said Sonic. Our friend, Espio. We are still friends too, Tails. You are just too mad to see that. I know what I see, said Tails, kind of screaming. I am so smart. Espio tried to get in between them, even though it was at his house that they were, wait, what the fuck? That they were in right now and said, guys, please, let's just, let's just make sure I can fight Knuckles and not get owned. Sonic and Knuckles. Not get owned. <laughs> I guess. So they ignored him for the moment and he continued to be in a fuss. Why am I surprised? Of course he would use language like owned. I am sorry, bro. I don't understand! What can I do to make our friendship the best one ever once again? Said Sonic to Tails. <laughs> Tails waggled his two tails and looked to the side in a thinking way. I don't know! Said Tails to Sonic. But you know what? Here, take this! Tails took out a, took out a blue book from his, from, uh, from a spot and- From a spot? What, what the fuck? From a spot? <laughs> what spot? <laughs> his ass spot. Who the fuck is that? His <laughs> and, and and he threw it on the ground in front of Sonic. It was wait, it was what it was. What? 
it was what it was when Sonic looked at it. It was Sonic's journal. What? How did you get this? Said Sonic to Tails. I gave this to Miss Lesson before she... She... Miss Lesson? Wait, what? <laughs> That's the fucking teacher's name, dude. <laughs> Miss Lesson? Oh, God. I gave this to Miss Lesson before she read about my balls problems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I lied. I did not go to the science competition that night. I still went to school. But instead of going to the science competition, I used my science head of invincibility to sneak off into Miss Lesson's room and get your journal. I wanted to get your journal so that everyone else could read your business and see your gay ball <laughs> problem. <laughs> gay balls. <laughs> that I know, and you still have even though you think you are getting better, I was going to give it back to you, but you're not going there to get the competition like you should have been, even though I'm such a good friend to you. Not now, when I could have been reaching my moment of genius, I was going to a thing for you because I want you to be happy. Tell said to Sonic with a voice of emotion. <laughs> what kind of emotion Jesus though? Jesus Christ, what a huge exposition dump is that? <laughs> That's so trash, like, it'd be better if like, it's, ugh, it's like a big rule of like storytelling, you're supposed to like, show what's going on not like just say it outright it's like i i did a I like what the fuck i did a and then b happened and you didn't do what c and now i'm d <laughs> why am i critiquing this like like i even expect it to be any, anything more than it is sonic did not know what to say high school drama was so insane to be a part of Sonic picked up his journal and felt like he was going to cry because he, because he was being an asshole jerk to his best friend who was only trying to make him happy. Tails, you did not have to do this, finally said Sonic, respondingly. Oh. <laughs> what matters is that I did, said Tails, and also that you don't care, wait, did not care for your special, for my special day because you were too busy trying to be true boyfriend and girlfriend with Amy. <laughs> Goodbye, Sonic, said Tails right before he flew out Espio's bedroom window with his flying tails. And then he did. <laughs> what? He's so redundant. English is clearly not their first language. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Or maybe they're just like in sixth grade when they wrote this shit. Most likely. Espio's edgy, right? I have to read him edgy. Yeah. This is so shitty, said Espio to Sonic, who was now the only other person in his bedroom. I still have to fight Knuckles tomorrow, but your different kind of fight with Tails is just as crazy. That is for me to figure out with Tails, said Sonic. Let's get back to making sure you cannot be defeated by Knuckles. Sonic and Espio spent all day in Espio's room reading books and watching videos about <laughs> fighting World Star <laughs> and learning how to be the best at it. By bink, the time the day bink, was bink. over, <laughs> bink, Espio was ready to face Knuckles. They went to school on this new day, and school happened, it did happen, and was over, and now, it's over now, <laughs> and now they were in the hall, where Knuckles said to meet him to fight. There was a crowd of people around him that included Sonic who looked worried, Rouge who looked worried with her and with her baby, and Vector who was smiling. What the fuck's World wrong Star. with Vector? <laughs> Vector's recording the World Star video. <laughs> hey, bro, oh. <laughs> how would you want to bet Vector's the kind of dude to be like World Star? <laughs> he's yeah, he's that nigga that yells World Star. <laughs> oh <my God>. World Star! <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, big his shit, giant <laughs> shit, bro. Fight him about, bro. <laughs> he's he's the one yelling Bink in the background. <laughs> bink, bink. Also, in the crowd was Tails, and with him, Cream the Rabbit, who was Charmy B's girlfriend. Cream was a little woman and pretty smart, but not as smart as Tails. Her boobs were smaller than both Amy's and Rouge, but they were still high quality in their own in their own way. I like, I like that high quality, high quality. satin <laughs> linen breasts. High quality, you feel them? You're right. It's not sandbag titties. High quality. Uh, you? <laughs> it is surprising to most people. This ain't no mama saggy titties. <laughs> It is surprising to most people that a gay like Charmy was even allowed to have a girlfriend. Why? Okay. I'm getting like hints. I'm getting like hints like that the author's Muslim. I don't, I'm, I don't know. I'm getting hints. Like they're dropping hints like they go by some sort of Muslim religion. 
But it goes to show you that the impossible is not what you think it is. Then Espio jumped over the crowd into the middle where Knuckles was. Oh shit, it's going down. Let's go. World Star. World Star. So you decided to come anyways? Even though you know your ass gonna get torn up by my moves? I don't wanna fight you, Knuckles, said Espio to Knuckles. But I am going to do this for Charmy and Rouge. I'm doing this for Charmy because you kidnapped him. And for Rouge because you do not respect her baby. Thanks for... <laughs> Why does he have to explain it like that? Because he's a real hero, man. <laughs> Let's do this, said, said Knuckles. Knuckles charged at Espio with his fist like an elephant running at a hunter trying to kill him for, for, his, pa for his powers. What? <laughs> But Espio jumped out of the way and onto the wall like a pro jumper. A pro jumper! What the fuck? She learned how to do last <laughs> night. Great plot armor right there, dude. Fuck it. <laughs> Espio jumped at Knuckles with a kick move and Knuckles punched at his foot and they met with a purple and red explosion of power that knocked them both Ooh. down. Oh man, Ooh. we're getting fucking anime, man. That's sick. <laughs> they continued to jump around and attack each other and they did this for a while. It was difficult to watch for everybody. So, life lesson. If you ever need to get better at something, just stay up late at night watching YouTube videos and you'll be a pro by morning. You're right. You're right. Or watch them world star videos. Yeah. Rouge was in the crowd with her baby. This is so difficult to watch, said Rouge. Violence should not be a solution to conflict, said Rouge's baby, peeking out between his hands, Buddha ass nigga, face ass. <laughs> You are right. When do people like this? When do this like this? Why do people what? do like this like this? Why do people do this like this? <laughs> See, like, you're so used to it being broken English that you, like, fuck up t saying it because, like, oh. Because, <laughs> like, it's already. It's a precedent. I don't. I fucking. I don't know. Trash. I hate it. Said Rouge to Rouge's baby. <laughs> Rouge had become a different person since she had a baby, which is like last day, like last night. She uh -huh. used to be only sexy, and now Rouge was sexy and maternally. <laughs> Matronally. Yeet. Matronally. <laughs> <laughs> yes, fuck this evil world. <laughs> Said Rouge's baby. Rouge then revealed her boob to her baby and had him eat it from. <laughs> Had him eat from it, as a baby would do. Rouge's baby thought this was the best part about being a baby, because not everyone could get cool boobs like this delivered to them on their doorstep, like a milkman. <laughs> <laughs> Babies did not have much to worry about anyway, so Rouge's ace boobs made per <laughs> made paradise for this re realty. A realty, dude. Okay, made paradise a rea realty for baby. <laughs> I have a feeling said Rouge's baby. You should lie down and rel relax. So Rouge lied down on her back, and the fight continued to go on. Knuckles and Espio were both bloody and gross looking, like two waiters who were, ho who were holding messy foods and then walked into each other, <laughs> causing the meal to launch into the air and then fall down on them and ruin the nice clothes they got from the store. What kind of fucking exposition is this? <laughs> Nobody cares. If you're gonna describe the fucking waiters, then describe how they look instead of using a shitty analogy. They were breathing hard and were tired, but they kept going, jumping and kicking and punching and running. Oh my. And running on sentences. It looked like two people were doing a dance, but hitting each other also. It, Knuckles kicked his feet out at Espio, but Espio jumped out and dodged them and came back down and hit Knuckles in the mouth and knocked him onto the floor slash ground. Is this enough yet? Are we done? Shouted Espio to Knuckles. How will this ever end? Knuckles looked up from the ground at Espio, standing over him. Knuckles had a twinkle in his eye as he looked up at Espio and crawled towards him. Ooh, are we? Oh, <laughs> Espio did not do anything but watch him and feel dangerous. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you dog, come closer, said Knuckles in a whispered voice. So Knuckles bent down and put his face to Knuckles. No! Knuckles looked up and down uh, Espio's sweaty purple body <laughs> and into his eyes and then said, I respect you. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! No, what's happening? And then grabbed his face as gentle as a deer and kissed him on the mouth. Oh my god. 
Oh my when god. When Knuckles kissed them, he did it extra hard. Something in his eyes shut. Wait, sometimes with his oh eyes my shut. God. And sometimes looking at Espio's deep yellow eyes. Oh my god. That were looking like a circus of a loving man. No! <laughs> Their tongues met in the middle of their mouth like two chicken cutlets, chicken cutlets. <laughs> that were acting like cats and <laughs> <laughs> that loved each other. When Espio was watching fighting videos last night, he did not expect he was going to have what to do like? the kissing too, <laughs> but he liked it. Nice. What the Just fuck? Of course, of course they would end up fucking making out. Oh, I'm just excited to see what Rouge is going to be doing on her back. He said, he said, come closer. He said, hey, bro. I respect you. I respect you. <laughs> this is crazy. Where's the homo? There was no homo at the end, though. Yeah, no homo, fam. They went on kissing for a full minute while everyone watched, wondering if they were done fighting or just taking a break to kiss. Yeah, they'll get back to it. Finally, the, <laughs> finally, the back part of Knuckles' body began to lift off the ground while his mouth was still making out with Espio. Eventually, the, the power became so strong that his mouth was removed from Espio, and their spit was like a shiny extension cord that connected an, uh, an appliance to a wall outlet. <laughs> Knuckles then began to glow while floating in the air, and the whole place became a little windy. On the side, Del said to Cream, Wow! I know th what this is! This is a rare moment of science that we will not see probably ever again in our lifetime or ever. It is called a body donation and it was invented by Einstein. <laughs> Einstein? Why? The oh my god. It's Einstein. It's in Innistin. Innistin. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. We're sounding shit out here. It is when someone reaches an amount of such powerful love that they can't choose to reset their lives as a part of the person they loved. Eniston invented this by making his wife love him so much one day during a romance pasta dinner <laughs> <laughs> that she was, became a baby that was like him. But then he killed his wife, the what baby, the because fuck? he thought it was too dangerous to have her lo live on the world without testing it in a laboratory first. It was a fact that it would also- it, it looked like magic. It is not magic. It is science. So deal with it. What is this? What is- it, it, I can't help but feel like that last part was directed at the audience. Oh God. It is science. So deal with it. Knuckles glided on the wind. Forward through the crowd of people in front of him and into Rouge's mouth. What? Where he disappeared into? Hello? <laughs> it was a good thing Rouge's baby had premonitions and told her to lie down. What the fuck? And as as then Knuckles did a U-turn in Rouge's sex-filled body and came out of her butt as a newborn <laughs> baby and looked at Expio. This was all science. Excuse me. What the actual fuck? L nevertheless, let us continue. Did <laughs> you fucking out of her butt, dude? This is actually getting wild. I'm actually liking this. Hello everyone, this video was made in collaboration with my good pal Zerx. Say hello, Zerx. The rest of the series is hosted on his channel, so if you want to see what happened before this, you can head over there and watch it. Oh, look at that, look at that channel art there. Looking, that looks like a pretty familiar art style. I wonder who drew that. I wonder who diddled that up. I wonder who put those lines together. Penis.